The Taliban is a complex religious and political movement. The Taliban initially emerged in 1994 in the southern province of Kandahar. Uh, this is a time when Afghanistan has disintegrated into anarchy and civil war uh, following the collapse of the last pro-Soviet government of President Najibullah in Kabul. Uh, the Taliban emerged during this period with the slogan of bringing peace to Afghanistan. And it is emergence was facilitated by critical support it received from Pakistan, especially Pakistan's military intelligence, the ISI. Uh, initially, according to most reports, it began with a really humble beginning locally. Uh, it was led by uh, Mullah Muhammad Omar, who was a local religious figure, but with no known reputation in uh, Islamic law, jurisprudence, or Afghanistan's national politics. He and his group of students uh, first started disarming locally abusive militias, and then they were also started supporting Pakistan's ambition at that time in 1994 in Afghanistan to open a trade route through Afghanistan, through the cities of Kandahar and Herat to Central Asia. Uh, so for the first time, we also see that the Taliban emerges as a force that achieves this really stunning victories against this locally abusive militias in, uh, that were fighting for control of the city in the province of Kandahar. And then subsequently, as they seized control of territories and provinces across Afghanistan, they reached Kabul uh, in 1995, and they became just another important player in Afghanistan's uh, bloody conflict for the second half of the 1990s. Uh, they started um, implementing their version of the Sharia law, as they interpreted, which was really a totalitarian interpretation of uh, Sharia, which they would use to impose their will on every aspect of the Afghan society. So the Taliban are remembered now with uh, executions of um, uh, women and, and other uh, members of the society in public places like stadiums. They, and they also engage in mass killings of um, the Shia Hazaras, uh, one of the most important of which is uh, August 1998. Uh, after they took control of the city, they went on a campaign of killing primarily the Hazara residents of that city. After they achieved a control of the northern city of Mazar Sharif in August of 1998, the three countries extended diplomatic recognition to the Taliban. These were Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. I, I lived part of those uh, uh, years in Afghanistan, and I witnessed firsthand how the Taliban ruled the country. They turned um, the Afghan radio network um, into a mouthpiece of their propaganda, calling it Radio Sharia. Afghanistan of the Taliban from 1996 to 2001 is one in which there is no video no photography, no art. Uh, they destroyed famously the Buddha statues of Bamiyan, such a monumental, important uh, heritage of Afghanistan's civilizational past. By the end of uh, 2001, uh, following the US-led military intervention, the Taliban regime, the Taliban as a movement disintegrated. And that explains uh, uh, also in important ways how vulnerable, how fragile the movement was because it did not enjoy a lot of popular legitimacy in Afghanistan. Another important layer of the Taliban would be what described as local Taliban. These are people who have grievances at the local level, especially in the context of the post-2001 Afghanistan, where uh, subnational governance proved to be one of the main failures of the international intervention. It uh, created a lot of opportunities for abuse of power by local power holders. And as a result, there were many people who were pushed into the order of the Taliban as a result of those 
governance failures, abuse of power at the local level. And then at the top of all of this, I think we should also keep in mind that the Taliban have also been evolving over the past few years and months in particular. Uh, there are a range of other groups that have joined the Taliban for pragmatic reasons, uh, primarily seeking to ensure their survival in rapidly changing security environments in Afghanistan. And this is especially true of the past few weeks and months. Uh, I suspect there are many groups locally who switched side to the Taliban just to ensure their survival. So just to sum it up, I think it's important to keep in mind that the Taliban is a very complex movement. It was best described by an analyst of Afghanistan, Thomas Rotik, as a network of networks. The, the impact of the U.S. intervention on the Taliban has been profound. I think that for the first time, the Taliban found itself to in a fight with a very major um, technologically advanced power like the United States. Uh, so as a result of this, to fight back, they also needed to adapt to the changing circumstances. And I think one of those really important adaptation by the Taliban is their appropriation of uh, a very effective public relations campaign, propaganda. Uh, so far, what I'm seeing is the propaganda wing of the Taliban have been quite effective in telling the world what it hears at the moment. There are the differences of views um, and different groups in that system represents uh, the diverse groups of Afghanistan. Uh, for me, I would like to be uh, pessimistic unless I see evidence is coming that prove me wrong and I would be quite happy to see that.